Ah, plug and play. Those games you just plugged into the Mac UTV using those composite chords and played the game that was saved onto its eternal memory. And that was about it, really. Nice and simple. There was no big catch, no gimmick, no setting up, no calibrating. You just plugged it in and played. And that was the main selling point for this device and others that there was no hassle. All you had to do is plug it in and play. And for some time, these were popular until councils came out and the idea of uh, switching out games in, in a way kind of came popular. You see, this has 10 games on it made by Intellivision. But sadly, these 10 games are the only 10 games that will ever be on this device. You can't take games off, and you can't put new ones in. While today's consoles, like, say, Nintendo Switch, or the Wii, or PlayStation, or whatever, you can change the games out. You can put new ones in, take new ones out. Keeping them from becoming obsolete, while keeping these somewhat obsolete. Either way, because of that, these were primarily based for game collections that didn't involve any change or any new games, like um, throwback games. For instance, you will find these containing Nintendo 64 games or Atari 28 games or something like that, because there are no new games for that. So you just put all the games you have on it, and there you are. Or sometimes there's a, uh, they put out stuff like this, where it's designed to make money off a movie. And it just plays one game with uh, no need to change it because there's really nothing to change about it. Eventually, though, these kind of faded away after some companies came up with the idea of making consoles that looked like the old one and were basically this, except bigger, had more options. So these eventually... At least this style eventually came a bit obsolete, if you will. And now you can pretty much only find them at Goodwills or the equivalent. But how were these to play? How were these to play? That's improper. How was this to play? Well, let's find out. I have one of them started up here. The in television plug, not plug and play, so I play power, TV play power, in television game console thing. The games, um, there's ten of them last time I counted, and, um, they're pretty much what you would imagine. Deadly discs, absolutely. Yeah, copyright 1981, so it's the, uh, early 80s. Mm. Well, you can't really choose, you can't choose the speed, sadly, so I guess we'll go for the uh, slowest. Uh, oh, ah, oh my god, what am I doing? I'm throwing squares at people. Ah! Uh, wait, oh, can I get the last blue guy? Oh, there's more blue guys! Ah! Right, moving on to the Wally game. And look at that, I'm at a trailer. As you can clearly see, because it says trailer. So, object of the game? Well, I spent about four hours last night trying to figure out what the object of the game is. And I still don't know. Simply, when you're here, you go around and collect trash. That's 
pretty much it. Ooh, this is complicated. So, you go around and you shoot stuff. Tell you what, I'll come back to you when this bit is done. Right, so I finished that level, and I forgot to film the ending, but honestly, who really cares? So that, there it is. That is the, uh, Wally -E Plug and Play TV game system. And that's my look at the Plug and Play stations. I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. And thanks to uh, Master Builder365, who donated the um, uh, PlayStations you see. And uh, thank you for watching. Once again, just make sure. Leave a like. Subscribe if you want to. New videos weekly. And uh, until next time, keep it all good. I'll see you then. Thumbs up.